in this tutorial i am going to show you how to design this beautiful postcard in powerpoint keys that i am using during the design you can see at the below bar follow these keys and watch the video till the end i am going to take a, a custom slide and uh, it goes to 15.24 and 10.16 centimeter when we will convert it to the inches it will goes to six inches and four inches i'm going to take some guidelines two vertical guidelines and two horizontal guidelines and put it at the edges of the slides and you may call it bleed line safe zone or merge line and these two vertical i'm going to put it here like this and uh, the last one i'm going to put it here on the other side of the slide like this okay the the, the text will go inside these uh, guidelines take uh, a all shape by holding shift alt and drag it I'm going to reduce the transparency to see how it looks like and uh, place it here at uh, a side of the slide and I'm going to take a rectangle and draw a rectangle like this from right to left and uh, make the upper side a as well as yes control D to duplicate it and uh, place it here at the side of the slide and drag it to cover the old shape from out of the slides select all shape and merge fragments select this one by holding shift and delete okay shape outline make it no outline Control D to duplicate it and uh, I'm going to place it uh, first now here and uh, give it some white color. Okay, I think I should give it a little gray color that I see how it looks like. Okay, let me select this one and uh, move it to the right a little bit and now place the upper shape over it like this and I'm going to give it some gradient color you can use your desired color in this gradient I'm going to the make the direction from up to down and give it some dark color yes this one this one and go to more colors and make it little bit light that the gradient become visible go to insert and take a rectangle shapes yes and take a rectangle and drag a rectangle from this corner to the left side like this okay i'm going to give it some yellow color shape outline make it no outline bring to uh, send to back take in another rectangle to going shape and take uh, this rectangle and drag it uh, from down to up and then to left shape fill i'm going to give it some gray color another different color and uh, shape outline make it no outline and uh, send to back i'm going to align it to the half all shape like this okay yes now it is okay okay let me bring some picture in this shape and uh, clipping mask go to shape fill and uh, picture and texture go to form uh, in the file yes i have downloaded a house picture and bring it insert and bring it to this this shape yes 
it's okay I have some written text that I text earlier that I typed earlier to save the time I have also a free logo of real estate control C and control V to bring it the slide okay now I'm going to place this text over uh, the design there are some logos some uh, icons Facebook icon icon for website and icon for a telephone I will drop a link of these icon I bring these icons out of outside from the PowerPoint and you can change the its colors now I'm going to place the logo here at this corner zoom to how it looks like yes it's okay I think so and give it some dark yellow color yes shape will go to dark yellow color yes this one okay now I'm going to place these text and uh, I'm going to give it the font Montesirot and other fonts that uh, you are uh, prefer that you goes prefer that you go prefer okay bold I'm going to fix it uh, in the shape yes and uh, make it to the left side and uh, I'm going to make uh, the text of the home little bit bigger in size okay go 36 maybe okay 40 will be okay 36 maybe okay yes okay I'm going to now design the back side of the postcard take a rectangle like this I'm going to bring the shape this one control C and control V control shift C and control shift V to transfer the gradient to that shape okay I'm going to take an all shape by holding shift alt and drag in this shape I am going to make a clipping mask of the house inside some images and uh, I have already downloaded from Fixabay okay shape outline make it no outline white shape white fill shape outline make it no outline and select both align center align middle I'm going to make it a little bit bigger in size and select both align center align middle oh sorry I should bring it out from the slide and make it perfect that the back shape side visible little bit control G to group it and now place it here control D to duplicate it and place it in a row with the first shape yes here okay I'm going to bring some text for uh, this uh, second slide control C and control V and uh, I'm going to place this text here and uh, the left upper corner here and uh, make it align perfectly select Montesirot and uh, white make it little bit smaller in size and white select this one also to align it with the headlines and uh, 
you can keep fonts according to your uh, requirements and according to your desire and uh, you can uh, align your text by giving some spaces or uh, by changing some other fonts okay here uh, upper the shape yes this one take this one control shift c and control shift v select this one control shift v i'm going to make uh, the font size little bit reduce to 14 yes i think so 15 will be okay yes and place it here and you can add some text here delete this one i'm going to make a, a small all shape by holding shift alt shape fill white fill shape outline make it an outline and uh, you can uh, stack some points here at this place white control d to duplicate it and uh, place it this is the second point i'm going to align it with the bullet yes control d to duplicate it the third one point here you can take and uh, control d to duplicate and the fourth one point here you can take i'm going to bring uh, an image woman to bring it to the slide and uh, remove its background remove background yes and i'm going to select the area to remove some areas that uh, left from the remove by clicking uh, this pen i'm going to add some area to the remove area and uh, bring some area to the picture by taking a mark area to keep okay mark area to keep and select here also i'm going to remove this side little bit yes and uh, keep changes yes and the background removed i'm going to align it here and make it uh, smaller in size and place it here i think make it more smaller in size yes by holding shift alt by holding shift alt we can small it from all dimensions and from all sides i'm going to take a rectangle this is a postcard or eddm card here you can put the address and uh, something uh, for writing okay shape outline yellow take another rectangle here for an address control shift c and control shift v control d to duplicate it place it here and control d to duplicate it place it here i'm going to make it a little bit more smaller and align it here okay i'm going to the first slide to bring the logo the addresses of phone website and uh, facebook address also by selecting one by one by holding shift control c and control v to bring it to the second slide and uh, i'm going to make it little bit smaller for uh, the area according to the area i'm going to make it little bit small sorry little bit smaller 
select and uh, place it here I'm going also align uh, these text and control G to group it and uh, make it a little bit smaller in fonts the fonts of these text to place it here at uh, this corner okay I will drop the link up uh, these icons you will not found these found these icons of phone Facebook and uh, the website icon in the PowerPoint and uh, I bring it uh, from outside the PowerPoint and I will drop a link in the description you can download these icons okay and I am going to place it here and also align this uh, address to the Facebook icon and control G to group it and uh, place it here at the bottom and this the website address will go here I'm going to make it a little bit more smaller and align it oh sorry I'm going to select it oh sorry select this one and uh, through the arrow keys I'm going to place it here okay I'm going to make the font size little bit smaller friends if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get every time a latest design I'm going to also this text to make it a little bit smaller in font and uh, now it's okay I'm going to make a cliffing marks of the house of enter side and uh, go to fill fixture and texture and uh, bring some kitchen yes this one and uh, select also the top sh all shape and uh, picture picture and texture fill and I have some pictures that I am going to bring it to the slide thank you for watching